Welcome to our JavaScript exploration. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers ponder. Is there a more succinct way to define a getter using arrow function syntax? Our viewer is curious about streamlining their code while maintaining clarity. Let's dive into the details and see what options are available. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. Let's explore a more succinct way to define a static getter in JavaScript. The traditional syntax uses the get keyword. You asked if there's a way to use arrow function syntax for this. Unfortunately, JavaScript does not support using arrow functions directly with the get syntax. However, you can define a static property directly, but this won't provide the same behavior as a getter. Another alternative is using object.define property, which allows you to define a getter, but it can be more verbose. In summary, while you can't use arrow functions for getters directly, you have other options. Each has its own use case, but they may not feel as clean as you'd like. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use arrow function syntax for getters, you can utilize Babel's preset stage two. This preset allows you to implement this feature easily. Don't forget, preset stage two is a separate NPM module, so make sure to install it before using. For more details, check out the Babel documentation for preset stage two at the provided link. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. You cannot use arrow functions to define class functions in a class declaration. This will lead to a syntax error. For instance, trying to define a static getter with an arrow function results in an unexpected token error. Similarly, Defining instance methods with arrow functions also produces a syntax error. To create a static property, you can use object.define property or the traditional static getter syntax. If you want a read-only property, use a static getter. Otherwise, you can assign a value directly to the class. In conclusion, using static getters allows you to create read-only properties while direct assignments can be changed. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If it did guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.